conversation of insulin in a carnivore diet or a ketogenic diet is insulin has a response when you're eating appropriate amounts of protein and fat. When you're eating appropriate amounts of protein and fat in a meal, there is an insulin response. We cannot survive if insulin is not present in our system. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Bronson here. And today we're going to talk about the fantastic, wonderful, not controversial at all discussion of gaining fat on carnivore, fat causing fat, or gaining fat without insulin. The secret to this conversation is something I just said. Think about that. Before I get into that, though, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you click on the bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. There's at least two a week. And most importantly, please share this information with someone who's on their journey. Hopefully that it will help them find a, a nugget of, of information or a piece of the puzzle that will help them reach their goals. There's a debate. There's two major camps in the keto carnivore space. There's, I see it all the time in conversation, uh, the debate of, you know, it's impossible to gain fat while on carnivore, you can eat as much as you want. Fat doesn't make you fat. And then there's the side of that says fat can make you fat. Fat does make you fat. That you don't need insulin to gain fat. And I'm going to clarify a couple things here. First of all, different scenario. There are different scenarios, but it is possible for fat to be stored as fat. If I eat more fat than my body needs for energy, it's going to store it as fat. We have that mechanism. That's why the mechanism of fat storage exists. You can't say it doesn't happen. So fat can make you fat. Carbs can turn into fat. Protein can, in the absence of, in the absence of, or the demand exceeding the capability of the body to provide fat or, or carbs. Okay. I'm going to keep with the macros, fat or carbs. The body can break down protein for glucose. It does that very little, very minimally. It doesn't want to do that. So any macronutrient can potentially be utilized for fuel. Side note, just a FYI, if you are using amino acids, if your body's breaking down protein for fuel, it's very unlikely that it will be stored as fat because if your body is breaking down protein for fuel, it's because there isn't enough fat or glycogen in your system and it can't be excess. You can't have excess fat and then your body's breaking down protein more than your body needs to store it as excess fat. The reason your body would be breaking down protein is if you don't have enough fat, not excess, enough, to you need, and it needs fuel. Think about that. I'm back on track. The idea that fat can make you fat, you all need to wrap your head around that. If you eat more, it's gonna, it, it can be stored as fat. The idea that it doesn't happen excuse me, the idea that you can gain fat without insulin is, in my experience, misguided logic. Because here's the thing, the conversation of insulin on the carnivore diet is not, there's no insulin, is not that there's not an insulinogenic response. The conversation of insulin in a carnivore diet or a ketogenic diet is insulin has a response when you are eating appropriate amounts of protein and fat. When you're eating appropriate amounts of protein and fat in a meal, there is an insulin response. We cannot survive if insulin is not present in our system. We can't. So if you are eating enough, you're going to have insulin. If you're eating more than enough, you're going to have insulin. If you're not eating enough, you're still going to have insulin. So if you're not eating enough and your insulin is low, you're not eating enough. You're not getting enough energy into your body. Nutrients that can be converted into energy into your body for your body to store it. So it's not that there's no insulin. It's that you're not getting enough macronutrients in your body. You are starving yourself. You are malnutrition. That's the problem there. It has nothing to do with insulin. If you are eating more than your body needs, then you are eating more than your body needs. You are eating more fat mass than your body needs to utilize by what you're eating, especially if you have fat on your body already. If you have fat on your body already, you probably don't need to eat as much fat. Now you need enough fat with your protein to help digest that protein, to help get the nutrients out of that protein. Cause a lot of the nutrients in meat 
are fat soluble. So you need fat with your meals. If you're just eating a lot of lean meat all the time, you're missing the point. We're talking about nutrition, bioavailability, nutrient density. If I eat, uh, if I eat a lot of meat, that's great. But if I'm not eating it with some fat, then I'm not getting the nutrition out of the meat as much. Different conversation. You guys have heard me talk about that before. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com sign up for updates. The book comes out in September, but there's still an insulin response. So if I'm eating more fat, I still have insulin in my system. I'm going to gain fat. I honestly, in many ways, don't understand how we got to the point where the argument of gaining fat or not is based on insulin. It's, it's, it's a mechanism that in many ways, practically speaking, Okay, this is where we get caught in the science versus reality. We can talk about the mechanism of insulin and what causes fat, what causes fat gain. Insulin is the, the, the hormone of storage, right? Okay, great. Who cares? How do I effectively, I, I, I can't effectively change my lifestyle based on how I'm affecting my insulin. I need to focus on my nutrition. I need to focus on my health. I need to focus on making sure I'm getting the micronutrients and the macronutrients that my body needs to function. If I do that, my insulin will take care of itself. If I don't overconsume fat or carbs, will I gain weight? If I underconsume fat, carbs, or protein, will I be malnourished? Likely. Does my insulin have anything to do with that? Nope. This is a, one of those examples, guys, where focusing on the mechanism is a waste of effort. It's a waste of time. All the experts in the world can argue over how this mechanism works to do whatever. You can get 18 different physicists from all over the world to talk about the mechanics of a quantum computer and how this thing does that and this thing does that and it calculates this and these things interact with each other and quantum entanglement and all these other different things. But the practicality of what can the computer do for us as a society is what matters. I like to use the watch analogy. That's where the gears were coming into my head. We can talk all day about gear ratios, spring tension, and how to structure the internal workings of a clock to get the appropriate hand turning, right? How do we tie the hand turning with the date dial and the second hand? And if I want to do the little moon thing, the moon phases of the moon each month that goes across the top, right? There's all these complicated mechanisms that go into how we can make, make an, an old-fashioned hands watch. Does any of that matter when you need to tell time? No. It's 11.25. Done. That's how a watch impacts my life. Why are we worried about trying to understand all the gears inside of it? That doesn't impact your life. You can't do the things you want to do physically right now. It's hard for you to walk up the stairs. You're trying to lose 100 pounds of weight. You can't go on a hike with your kids because you get too you get tired after 100 feet. Whatever it may be, there's these things in your life every single day that are impacting you. Stop spending time focusing on things that aren't helping you move forward. Look at the things in your real life. What can I see with my eyeballs that I can make a difference in today? to help me move forward. Don't get caught up in the arguments between influencers and specialists and scientists and doctors and whomever else. Their arguments are their arguments. Your life is what's more important. All right, take it easy guys. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community